Come and Go, a gas station and convenience store brand in Iowa, took a stand for trans youth on Twitter recently. The organization spoke out against the recent bills restricting trans rights with the tweet, protect trans kids, period. They then followed that up, citing the data from the Trevor Project study showing that 52% 52, 52 of trans and non-binary youth in Iowa considered suicide in 2022. Then they got specific and in subsequent tweets stated, we're people first, and that means speaking up for our community. Yesterday, we voted against SF482 and SF538 in the state of Iowa. We know that this is just the beginning, and we still have work to do to continue to advocate for the LGBTQ plus members of our community. LGBTQ Nation reports that the claim that Come and Go voted against the bills is likely referring to two lobbyists associated with the organization who voted on record against the bills. The company received praise for their stance, um, followed by calls to put their money where their mouth is and stop donating to GOP campaigns and instead support candidates that fight for equal rights. The Des Moines Register reported in 2019 that Kyle Krauss, CEO of Come and Go's parent company, had donated hundreds of thousands to Iowa Republicans over a five-year period, including Senator Jack Whitfer, uh, the Senate Majority Leader who has supported anti-trans bills, and Governor Kim Reynolds, who has signed anti-trans legislation into law. So they were praised for saying really good, positive things for the trans community, but then also got called to the carpet of like, you know, you have to back that up with your political donations and the donations of, um, you know, your leadership.